G'day guys, today's video we're going to do colour part of a black and white photo using Photoshop. Here we've got a JPEG image of a rose. Now we're going to save this image as rose.col. So basically we're going to keep it as the base image. We're going to take another, we're going to do another photo and going to change it to grayscale. You're going to uh, cut and copy it and paste it on top of this. So here we go. At this stage, we've got the original. We're opening up the original photo again. This is the JPEG. Now we can go up to adjustments at the top there and go across to grayscale. Once we go to grayscale, disregard all the yeah, disregard all that. And there's the grayscale. Now basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this, copy the image, go back to the color one and paste it there. Now because it's the same image, nothing's gonna change in size, it's all gonna work well. Now there's different there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use the eraser tool, nice and thin. Thumbnail sketch, little, oh, sorry, nice and thin, uh, making a say brush. Get that nice even edge. Uh, zooming in, obviously, just get in closer so and get the finer details. And what we're doing here, we're going to remove the rows, the black and white section of the rows, and it's going to leave us with just what's in the layer behind. So go a little bit quicker here because. It's very time consuming and very boring to watch. Now we're going to go right around this whole entire rose and um, use the marquee selection tool and draw around where the rose is and control delete, delete it. Um, a lot of people ask questions about how do you rotate the image like this. It's just another little thing that I um, forgot to mention. Um, it's basically if you've got a Mac, it's Command R, and then use the cursor, use your cursor, or use your mouse or Wacom tablet, whatever you call it, like I do, and you just rotate it which direction you want. So Control R, rotate. Now we just about finished all the marquee tool here, getting around all these bits and pieces with the grey image of the rose. Now I'm just going to zoom out like this. The image is still rotated. That's okay. I'm going to go through that marquee tool. All the grey bits and pieces in the middle. Control delete and Control R rotate with the. That's where we got that big crisscross in the middle there. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's how we got it. The good thing about this, this technique, there's the original and there's the new one. Now, there's all different ways. You can do this with photos of yourself. A lot of people do that and it looks stunning. It looks astounding, especially in a building or something like that on the street. Thanks for watching, guys.